Hi, this is Alex here with Felicia Tomasco from LA Yoga Magazine. Felicia, what is it in your life to be living with authenticity and integrity and creativity? For me, and I'll speak just a little bit about my practice of yoga because it's something that really helps me to even ask the questions about what those mean and how I implement them in my everyday life. For me, I think about it's it's always about saying things because I, I do a lot of work with written communication and different types of communication and how do we say the same thing that we know in our hearts in new and interesting ways so that it really speaks to us and that comes from for me it comes from the practice of yoga and for me it comes from the practice of continually refining and redefining and recommitting to relationships. What's the relationship that I have with myself and what's the relationship I have with everyone and everything around me? Because it's from those relationships, it's from those connections that things like creativity and authenticity and integrity are born. What are some practices or a baby step that somebody could do to take a step toward being more authentic or in integrity? I think because for me Every relationship that we have in our lives comes from or initiates from the relationship that we have with ourselves. And in the relationship we have with ourselves, are we being compassionate? Are we listening to ourselves? Are we being kind? Because it's from kindness, compassion, and listening that things like authenticity and integrity and creativity can spring forth and take hold. Because it is that, you know, when, when we think about being authentic, we think about how am I expressing who I fully am and how do I know who I fully am? I know who I fully am by the fact that I listen to myself with compassion and with kindness. In terms of a baby step, right, we can talk about that, but it's, it's asking yourself each day, how am I being compassionate with myself? Good question. Good question. So thank you. So how can people find out more about you and your amazing project? Okay, so one of the biggest projects I'm involved with is a magazine called LA Yoga, and it is um, homed in LA, housed in LA, but it has relevance for what's going on throughout the world. And LA Yoga slash digital dot com is where our digital edition of the magazine lives. And you can also find us at LA Yoga Magazine dot com. I also teach in Southern California and beyond, and I teach a combination of yoga and Ayurveda, really looking at these relationships, the relationships that we have with ourselves with the groups of people around us, with our friends, with our family, with our co-workers, and with the planet. So on the smaller levels, on the bigger levels, so I can be reached through LA Yoga. And then I also, in terms of Ayurveda, I do a lot of work in the Ayurvedic community. So I'm the president of the California Association of Ayurvedic Medicine, and our website is ayurveda-cam.org, and we explore these questions as well. Thank you for spending a few minutes with me, and uh, yeah, thank you, Felicia. Thank you.